How are we doing YouTube? I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'm going to bring you an unboxing of a dash cam. It's 2.5K resolution. Uh, it was very cheap. I think the original price of it was somewhere around 70 and then they had it uh, marked down to like 45 and then it was 50% off of that. So actually a really good deal for if it does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to have Wi-Fi connect to your cell phone. Of course, 2.5K uh, resolution, which if anything, even if we don't get the full 2.5 and we get a good 1080p, then that you know that's a win-win for $25. So let's see if a $25 uh, dash cam is worth it here in 2024. Again, like I said, I mean, dash cams are pretty cool to have. Especially if you ever do get in a wreck or something, or you see something crazy. I mean, heck, that could be your, you know, your your million fame right there on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you're gonna um, post it to. But anyway, I mean, that's just he, you know, it's going a little far fetched. Uh, manufacturer is um, Shenzhen Corporation or Technology. It is China made. The model number is called V100. Again, I will leave links down below. So first thing you get is your quick connect. Because like I, I said, you do you can connect these to your cell phone. So I'm ready to see what all you can see on your cell phone and what you know options the cell phone gives you. Hopefully you can mess with the ISO and stuff like that from there. Or maybe it's just to record it straight to your phone. So... Here's that. We'll go ahead. We'll look at the device in a sec. So we'll put that to the side. Get your double sided tape for your windshield. Um, some type of tool. You get a tool. You get your power adapter. Again, if it's any good, uh, I will. Um, I'll find a USB C that's already spliced to go to cigarette lighter. And saying that, I do like this. If y'all seen the video I did of the AliExpress ten dollar uh, dash cam, which kind of sucked, uh, it was micro. It's nice to see these um, USB everything going USB C. I love USB C. It's as fast as there. And then of course, then you get Manuel. So Manuel is your best friend. Can be. So far, everything in here looks to be English every single bit of it and it's a it's a decent Manuel here Manuel is for it's 20 pages but you only need the first 15 pages so uh, it does have a, a speaker built into it it's supposed to be 2560 by 144 or some of the specs right there all right so you got some screen protectors, it looks like. I don't know. I have to look that up. All right. Let's get to the device, to the cam itself. It's, it's very small. Very small. So this is going to be an extra uh, in case your placement's wrong. So there we go right there. Quad HD 2.5. Okay, so it's by E. Yeager. E. Yeager. So, so it has an extended warranty on it. Let's see. If you visit the web or scan the QR code to activate warranty within 15 days. So, of course, if it does any good, you know, and I wind up keeping it, then, of course, I'll do that. This one does come with a memory card. Now, it's just a 32 generic, like literally full-blown generic. Uh, memory card in there. I'll be using. I have a, another memory card, but I, I will see what this one does, and we'll go from there. You know, see how good the images come off of it, because once you start getting into the high res, you do need a better um, uh, micro memory card. So it does articulate a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. So it's going to go on the dash like this, and then you can articulate it. So it does, like I said, it has speakers, power button, camera snapshot. 
All right, I'm going to get outside and I'm going to install it. I'm going to drive around and we're going to see how good this image quality is. Okay, so what'd you think of it? I mean, me, no, it's not that 2.5K, but it is clean and according, you know, compared to the one I got off of AliExpress for just the 1080p, it's a lot better image. Uh, the nighttime part, uh, it probably could use a little touching up on, a, on, a, on the nighttime. Hopefully that this thing does get, you know, uh, firmware updates through the app. I wish I could have it connected uh, a USB right USB C right here, and show you what it actually looks like the app. Uh, I don't know quite how to um, copy over or screen record my phone unless it's right here through OBS. So, but no, overall for literally twenty two twenty three bucks, I mean the the picture quality you you get is is really clean. It is you know it's not perfect whatsoever it's not perfect but again here we are i mean it's very light uh i'll, I'll be using the other pad if anything you know it, i have a couple of other ones that are supposed to be coming in this one right here i might stick in the back window you know and i have uh three um cigarette lighters uh in the front part of my car and i have one also in the trunk so, and the cables are really, really long. They're like eight foot, 10 foot cables. So in the back window, I might, my back seats fold down. So I might drop, uh, drop it in there and then use the cigarette lighter that's in my trunk and actually have this hooked up in the back window. And that's probably really and truly where I'm going to want to put in this one here. Uh, it'll be in the front until I get another one. Uh, hopefully, you know, I've reached out to a couple of companies and maybe they'll send me some, some 4k ones and see, but I'm just, I'm on the hunt of without spending over a hundred dollars, what you can really get for a decent dash cam. So uh, dash cams are just, they're nice to have in case you ever get in an accident or anything like that. I just, and for the offerings that this is, again, I will leave some affiliate links down below to this. I, for the offerings that it give you, the app was really, really uh, quick and responsive. I did go through. I was going to put it on. I didn't want the video being too long. If there was a difference, I would have did the difference. I'm trying to get it over here. I used their uh, SD card, like I said. Their SD card. Where is it at? It's over here. Is this some cheap, generic SD card? So that's their SD card, SD card that comes with it. I went ahead and I got a, a little bit higher performance SD card right here. These are what you would use for like your uh, GoPro Hero 8 and 9 is what they suggest. And then I have some of the V30s for like my, um, my DJI Mini 4 Pro uh, for the 4K. So I went ahead and tried that in it. So the biggest thing I see on this, on the file, the files are just really, really small. And then if you want to use this for like any video editing or put it in a video software, you will have to have a converter. It's in TS format and not MP4 or AVI or anything like that. So you, you will have to take an extra step in order to like make a video or, you know, if you're going to just do, you know, just time lapse yourself or record yourself while you're driving. And the most you can do is three minutes at a time. But what it does, it takes that three minutes and then does another three minutes and then does another three minutes. And then however big your card is, so the 32 gigs, it fills up that 32 gigs and then rewrites it over the beginning part of it. So, which is cool. Uh, taking it off the windshield, you know, I popped it off and I 
it did detect like there was a crash, even though it wasn't a crash, and it locks that video. So even over the uh, recording uh, or the rewriting process, once that video is locked, it goes into a separate file, and it can never be rewritten over. So that's uh, for a cheat, you know, something cheap like this, I think was was pretty good. So all in all, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Is it quad HD? No. It, it, is it... It's not quite 1080, but it, it is a clean image. It's in between 720 and 1080, but it, it is a clean image. Again, if, if you get in an accident or something, you will be able to see. Now, I would like to see, I would like to get me one. And what I'm gunning for is I want to be able to see the image in front of me. I want to be able to see the license plate numbers. Because someone ever hit you, hit and run. Yeah, I want that license plate or you see something that's going on and you have that license plate number. You have that for the, for the authorities later on. I just think that's, you know, a lot better or, you know, being able to see the road signs and clearly see what the road says. Uh, the other thing that would probably be really, really nice instead of 30 frames, having 60 frames. So 60 frames, uh, the ability to uh, read the license plates, you know, a clean image on that. Really good. It's been a long day, but uh, but no. I, I, overall, I'm I'm actually really satisfied. I'm not I'm not like jumping for joy, jumping through hoops or nothing. Like yay! Uh, again, this is non sponsor sponsored by my wife and I, but it, it it will get the job done and it it does pretty good. The the wide angles really really good on it. I did like that. So there's there's a lot. Uh, the negatives, like I said, I've already went through it. it it's not your your 2.5K that they say. I was hoping to get a true 1080 at least out of this, and you don't. So you see the images. Uh, the other thing is nighttime. Nighttime, I wish they would have added in a, just a black and white nighttime mode. The Don't get me wrong, I do like the color, but it's... I think the sensor for the cam... The sensor for the camera right here... I think it's struggling for the light and it's not giving you that that perfect. But again, if you were at a stop sign or somebody ran a red light, you would be able to still get all that in your footage. And there again, the the color being versus the black and white, the black and white would be a little clearer, but at least the footage would show red, yellow, green for a red light. But no, uh, again, I'll leave the links down in the description. I think that it's an awesome buy just for something cheap. I think it's it's worth, you know, 25 bucks in 2024, 100%. So that's just my honest opinion. And that's what I'm here to bring you. I'm Thomas Atomology. Catch you on the next one.